Welcome to the lecture series on kinematic analysis of mechanisms, graphical methods 2. Under this, we are studying Coroli's component of acceleration and Klein's construction for IC engine mechanisms. Uh, today we will study one problem on crank and slotted lever mechanism for Coroli's component of acceleration. We will divide this lecture into two parts. In part 1, we will uh, discuss about velocity analysis of a crank and slotted lever mechanism. And in the second part, we will do the acceleration analysis of crank and slotted lever mechanism. This is my problem statement. Mechanism is crank and slotted lever mechanism. Distance between fixed pivots OC is 210 mm vertical. Crank length CP is 105 mm. Distance OD is 420 mm, OD is 420 mm and angle OCP is 110 degrees. Crank speed is given as 90 rpm in clockwise direction. Crank is link CP. And if you have to determine angular acceleration of link OD along which the slider P slides. Now the very first step is to draw the configuration diagram. Now comparing the dimensions and the paper size, considering paper size to be A4, I will take scale of 1 cm equals to 50 mm. So I have tabulated all the dimensions of the links to the scale length. So actual length of OC is 210 and when scale to the scale of 1 cm equals to 50 mm, it becomes 4.2 cm. Length of CP is 105 mm. After scaling, it is 2.1 cm. Link OD is 420 mm. So, after scale link, it will become 8.4 mm. The first step draw a vertical line OC of 4.2 cm. Then, with angle OCP equals to 110 degrees. Draw link CP of 2.1 centimeters like this. Then join points OP and extend it till point D such that length OD is 8.4 centimeters. So this completes the acceleration diagram. Now, since here the slider P is sliding on this link OD as well as it is rotating with the link OD, what we do in such cases is that we assume point Q on the rotating link OD which lies exactly below point P on the slider. Now for velocity polygon let us consider one link at a time we will start from fixed link OC. Now for fixed link OC let us suppose that C rotates about O and when C rotates about O its linear tangential velocity VCO will be equals to radius of rotation OC into its angular velocity. But link OC is fixed link so its angular velocity will be zero. So VCO is zero in magnitude. So to plot VCO in velocity diagram we need to draw the vector of zero length which is represented by a point in vector diagram. So here is the point CO zero length vector representing velocity of a point on fixed link relative to the another point on fixed link. Next we will consider link CP. Now CP for link CP we will assume that P rotates about C. When P rotates about C Linear tangential velocity of P relative to C indicated by VPC is velocity of P relative to C is equals to radius of rotation CP into its angular velocity. Radius of rotation CP is equals to 0 0.105 into angular velocity of crank CP is 9.424 radian per second which gives the magnitude of VPC as 0.989 meter per second. Now, 
we will plot vector representing vpc that is vector cp in vector polygon whose length will be equals to 0.989 meter per second we will scale this so let us take a scale of 1 cm equals to 0.2 meter per second for velocity diagram so vpc will be represented by vector cp whose length now becomes 0.989 divided by the scale 0.2 meter per second so length of vector cp will become 4.9 centimeters in velocity polygon so now to represent vpc we will draw a vector cp of length 4.9 centimeters in velocity polygon now this is the length of the vector cp and we know that its direction will be perpendicular to radius of rotation cp like this we also know that the vector will pass through points c and p out of these two points we have point c with us which is the start point of this vector so we will draw a line perpendicular to link cp passing through point o in uh, passing through point c in this direction and having length of 4.9 centimeters to represent to represent vpc velocity of p relative to c we have placed the tail of the vector at point c because vpc is represented by vector cp c is the tail of the vector and p should be the head of the vector so this is the vector in the given direction that is perpendicular to radius of rotation pc which represents vpc velocity of p relative to c represented by vector cp the next take the link pq for link pq p slides relative to q so its sliding velocity is indicated by vspq sliding velocity of p relative to q whose magnitude is unknown but we know the direction of this sliding velocity of p relative to q it will be parallel to the line of stroke of slider p that will vspq will act along the length of this link or parallel to the length of this link on which slider p is sliding so now we have to plot the vector representing vspq in velocity polygon for this the length of vector is unknown so we will plot the vector of arbitrary length because we don't know the magnitude of the vector so we will plot the vector of arbitrary length we know the direction direction is parallel to the line of stroke it is parallel to the link on which the slider is sliding also we know that this vector must pass through points p and q out of these two points we have point p with us in velocity polygon so we will draw this line parallel to the line of stroke of slider passing through point q and having arbitrary length to represent sliding velocity of p relative to q so i have drawn a vector of arbitrary length because we don't know the magnitude of vspq i have drawn the line in the direction of vspq it is parallel to the line of stroke of the slider that is parallel to the length of the link on which the slider is sliding and i have drawn the vector through point p because vspq the vector representing vspq will pass through point p and q and we know point p so we have passed this vector through point p the next is the link oq so for link oq let us suppose that q rotates about o so when q rotates about o its linear tangential velocity vqo velocity of q relative to o is equals to radius of rotation oq into its angular velocity which is unknown so again the magnitude of vq is unknown so we have to draw a vector of arbitrary length to represent vqo in velocity polygon but we know its direction direction of vqo is perpendicular to radius of rotation oq also we know that the vector vqo will pass through point o and q out of these two points we have point o with us in the vector polygon so we will draw a line representing vqo 
of arbitrary length since we don't know the magnitude of this vqo we will draw the vector line of my arbitrary length through point o and perpendicular to radius of rotation oq so this line having arbitrary length because magnitude is unknown it is perpendicular to radius of rotation oq and it passes through point O because VQO vector representing VQO must pass through point O. Now read the names of these two vectors VSPQ. This vector must pass through point Q. And VQO. This vector must also pass through point Q. So both these vectors are passing through point Q. That means point of intersection of both these vectors is our point Q. Now let us draw the vector v s p q sliding velocity of p relative to q which must be represented by vector q p vector q to p so arrow towards p v s p q represented by vector q p vector q p represents v s p q now read the name of this vector v q o this is velocity of q relative to o it should be represented by vector O to Q. So this is vector O Q which will represent V Q O velocity of Q relative to O. The next point D on link O Q. Now for link O Q we have plotted velocity of Q relative to O which is perpendicular to link O Q. Now D lies on the same link. If we plot velocity of D relative to O, it will also be perpendicular to link OQ. So vector representing VQO and vector representing VDO will be parallel to each other. But both the vectors will pass through point O, so both these vectors will coincide. So using the principle of velocity image, we will find out distance of point D from Q or O in velocity polygon. So OQD in configuration diagram is similar to OQD in velocity diagram. This is velocity image principle. So taking the ratio OD upon OQ is equals to small OD upon small OQ. This is from configuration diagram. And this small OD upon small OQ is from a velocity diagram. So OD is 8.5 centimeters, OQ is 5.4 centimeters. We have taken this from configuration diagram. OD is unknown in velocity polygon, and OQ is the length of vector OQ in velocity diagram, which is equals to 3.6 centimeters. So solving this, we get distance of point D from O in velocity diagram as 5.7 centimeters. So we'll plot the point D from O at a distance of 5.7 centimeters such that it lies on the same line joining O and Q and in the same sense. So for that we'll read O Q D. So in velocity diagram it must follow the same sequence O Q D and O D is 5.7 centimeters so here is point D at 5.7 centimeters from point O and the vector joining D to O that is vector O D represents velocity of D relative to O Now this completes the velocity polygon. Now from this we will find out angular velocity of link OD. We will make use of equation number 3 for which we have determined linear velocity of Q relative to O which is equals to radius of rotation OQ into its angular velocity. So from this equation omega QO angular velocity of Q relative to O is equals to VQO divided by radius of rotation OQ. VQO value of magnitude of VQO is equals to length of vector OQ in velocity diagram 
into the scale factor with which we have drawn the velocity diagram divided by the radius of rotation OQ. So we'll measure the length of vector OQ and multiply it by scale factor. So length of vector OQ, this length is equals to 3.6 centimeters into the scale factor of 0.2 meter per second divided by length OQ is 0.27 centimeters uh, meters is equals to so this calculating this we get omega QO equals to 2.66 radian per second in magnitude so angular velocity of Q when it rotates about O is 2.66 radian per second that is the angular velocity of link OD so this is the magnitude of angular velocity of link OD now what about its direction we will find out direction of omega QO from the direction of vector VQO. So vector VQO is pointing towards right. So Q relative to O, while the Q rotates about O in circular path, the direction of linear velocity of Q relative to O is towards right. That means Q relative to O is rotating in clockwise direction so angular velocity of link OD is clockwise thank you